going on YouTube? So today I wanted to do my uh, OU Baylor prediction like I said I was going to do. So um, got my prediction video done yesterday. This is the only one I have left to do. So I'm going to do the same format as last week where I do just the keys to win for both teams and then make my prediction. Um, so yeah, obviously I, I think this is the biggest game of the week and um, this could this is one of the games that obviously will have a big it will basically be a big key to the turnout in the Big 12 this year. I think OU's already eliminated from playoff contention, honestly, just seeing how brutally ranked the uh, Big 12 has been in the college football, or in the college football playoff rankings so far. But uh, Baylor's obviously still alive and fighting. So, yeah, I'll go ahead and start with my keys to win for OU. So, my first one is never be down by more than 10. Now, if OU lets Baylor get away like they have the last two years, then it's going to be a long day for OU trying to play catch up. Um, they do have the offense that can put up a ton of points when they need to, but um, you know I don't think that's their style to be able to just get in an absolute dogfight shootout like Baylor can do. Um, anyway, uh, next one is Baker Mayfield. I think he has to have more passing yards than Jared Stidham. Um, I don't know if he, well I don't know if he has to, but I'd say if he does, then OU's definitely going to win the game. Um, if not, that means that, that means that something drastic went wrong. Um, you know, Jared Stidham passed for 419 last week, and they still and Baylor still almost lost. So, you know, it, it, my thing is, if Baker Mayfield can outpass Jared Stidham, then they're I think they're definitely going to win. Um, and then ne next one, and I think this is the most important one, is let the running game take over. Baylor's defense hasn't been exceptional so far this year, or really in years past. If you let Samaj P. Ryan, Joe Ross, or Samaj P. Ryan, Joe Ross, uh, Joe Mixon do their thing, um, get going in the running game. Samaj P. Ryan's been hot the last couple weeks. Then uh, you know they can control the clock and keep Baylor's offense off the field, keep the score down, and um, you know tire that Baylor defense down. And that I think that is the biggest key to OU's victor or to OU winning this weekend. All right, so move on to the keys for Baylor. So the first one is get Baker Mayfield uncomfortable in the pocket. This kind of goes back to what they did last year to Trevor Knight. Um, you know, get him uncomfortable, get him moving. Um, you know, obviously still contain him. Sean Oakman and Andrew Billings have to have a big game. Um, Sean Oakman has to get to the QB a couple times, you know, get a few sacks and force a few turnovers. Now that gets to my second key, which is win the turnover battle. So if they uh, – if Jared Stidham starts getting turnover happy, then they have a fumble or two outside of maybe a pick or two, especially if, it, if the turnover margin's far in OU's favor, then um, I think OU's really going to make them pay. So you saw what OU did to West Virginia when West Virginia allowed them to uh, you know, hang around and then started turning the ball over late in the game. OU took over and didn't really give up from or didn't really like release from there so if Baylor can win the turnover battle then they kind of I guess uh, subside OU's biggest advantage in this game or uh, at least Baylor's or at least probably OU's best route to winning the game which is just forcing a lot of turnovers all right now the third one is uh, Shockland Wood to have at least 150 rushing yards and one touchdown now this has this doesn't have to be just shock Linwood, but if they do get the running game going, and I'd say just overall for the running game, they have to have more than 200 yards, because OU's defense has looked real solid the last couple weeks, ever since the Texas loss, the secondary specifically, and um, you know it's going to put a lot of pressure on Jared Stidham if the running game can't get going, and they have to pass all day. I mean, I, they can do it, but it's not going to be preferable for them. Um, I think it's a doable thing. Uh, OU's run defense has been up and down this year, a lot like their defense, but the secondary has been the strength of their defense. You know, they do have some solid guys along the D-line, and I just don't think if they can't if they can't run the ball that lets Eric Stryker pretty much pin his, pin his ears back go to, or go for Jared Stidham all day and also lets the secondary just drop back and um, cover, I mean, just cover in their zone pretty much the entire game. So, uh I'd say that the most important key for Baylor is definitely winning the turnover battle, but this one's huge too. I'd say it's the second most important. All right, so those are my three keys for both teams. Now my actual prediction for the game is Baylor winning. So I don't think it's going to be like last year. I think it'll be a closer game. Baylor has had OU's number in the last two or last two or three years, though, and I think it's going to continue this year. The game is in Waco. 
Granted, OU's been playing the same at home that they do on the road. Baylor's been a little bit better at home, and I just think having game day there for Baylor, they're going to step up and um, head into next weekend's game with Oklahoma State undefeated still. So, yeah, that's my prediction heading in, or that's my prediction for the OU Baylor game, and that is my only uh, separate preview video for the week. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. See ya.